Hello. We are working on the truck today. We have an old school Freightliner leveling valve. Anybody has had issues with the beautiful plastic leveling valves that Freightliner gives us. How many of them have you gone through? I've lost count. They constantly fuck up. So, this is an old school valve that I found on the FLD cutoff, the company who I run with. And the nice thing about these is the bolt pattern fits. So, you can take it apart if you get one that isn't too bad. You can take it apart. You can clean it. You can even get this out of the bottom of it. See if you can see it there. You can get that out of there and change the O-rings on it. This is cast, I don't know, cast aluminum? That's what it looks like. Cast aluminum. So, you take this goes in the top of it. You can pull that out. This is your air intake. Okay. You pull that out. Then you got this little square thingy. It's got a piece of rubber on the back side of it to clean off. And that. Then this is a spring keeper. I think it's plastic. Yeah, plastic. Then you have a spring. This is for your air. It shuts shuts off and returns your air. Then you have another one of these little square thingies with the rubber on it. Now, this one has one circle on it. This one has two circles on it. This one, because down in there, there's a little circle nipple thingy. That's where this one goes. So, you can pull it apart. You can clean it up. And that. And get rid of the plastic shit. The plastic shit. So. Let's take a walk. This is what I'm talking about. Right there. This bolt pattern on this one matches that one. Blue line is your in, two black lines are your out. One's for the front bags, one's for the rear bags. This right here will fit on, on, on this little this little thing right here. You just need a cotter key. And it'll work. So, I'm gonna wait till that piece of junk goes out. I got a spare. So, I'm just sitting here. Oh, my little. My beautiful girl behind us. Isn't she pretty? So, I'm just sitting here, cleaning all the crap off of it. Get you a pick. All depends on what size you want. Get you a pick. Clean it up. Get all the crap off of it. Just depending on when you, when you where you find it, and that some of them. This one had lots of stuff on it. Lots of gr grimies on it. 
but it's coming around. The rod was bent a little bit, straightened it out. Only thing I can't get apart is that right there. <coughs> she seized in there, but good. So, well, I'm going to continue cleaning it up. And that, well, I can, I can put it back together real quick. Okay, the double one. Nope. I already did it wrong. Down in there. Get in there. There we go. Then your spring. Then your keeper. If I'm right. It's supposed to go. Those four corners are supposed to go. Or four four things are supposed to go over. Over. Dang it. Okay, we're going to do it a different way. Spring, come on. Put it over the spring first. That don't work either. Come on, you. There we go. There. See what it looks like real quick. Hopefully you can see it. Phones suck for cameras. Okay, I'm gonna clean this one off. Set it on top of that. Or no, that goes. Rubber side up. Because it's gotta close off against that. Okay. And if you noticed, or when when you get one. And you figure it out, okay? There are screens. There are little screens inside these things. So there's a little screen inside there. There's a little screen inside there. So you take this off. You can get into that screen and clean that screen out. But I'm gonna do it easy way. Make sure you got this little washer. That little washer seals this. Seals this all up. Okay. Now. Uh, inch, and, inch and a sixteenth is what is on what is this? The size this is. So put that on there that that. And did a big monkey wrench. There we go. All tightened up. All tightened up. So like I said, I'm this one here was mangled when I got it out of the out of the truck. The others are all right. This one and this one. So I mean, like I don't have to change these two out when I do put it on the truck, but but it fits. Both patterns match. So any salvage yard that has older trucks. If you can find 97 through whatever, these were the old school valves, and they still work. You can pull them apart, you can rebuild them, clean them up, three lines, in, out, 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 in. Pick it. Want that one to go to the rear bags? Push the rear bags. Want this one to go to the front bags? Push the front bags. It's real easy to do. That and you can adjust these once you get it on there. 
This one's a little close to the frame, but it'll still work. I mean, you put the line on before you put it up on there and bolt the thing in. I mean, you might have to put bigger, a little bit bigger bolts in. Because I know the ones on those valves are 7 sixteenths. If I'm right, this was a half inch. The bolts were half inch to get this off. So, put a little bit bigger bolt in it. To go back to old school, I'll put a bigger bolt in it. So, for now, that's it. We fixed a light earlier. Couldn't figure out what was going on with it. Finally figured that out. So, that's it for now. We're just going to screw around cleaning this up and taking our day off. So, have a good one for now. Keep the shiny up, dirty down.